Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Inkyu and this is my fragrance girl, my YouTube page where I love to talk about all things fragrances. So on today's video, I'll be sharing with you five amazing alternatives or dupes to very popular perfumes or fragrances you probably have heard about over the past year. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I got scared for a second. There's something I put on my wall. But anyway, I digress. So I will be sharing with you these five um, fragrances. And I stumbled upon them as my fragrance collection has, you know, grown um, in recent times. These fragrances are similar in some cases. In some, it's a one-to-one -one dupe. And in other cases, you, you can get that um, feeling of um, familiarity when you get to spray the fragrances. So if this is of interest to you, you know, go grab a cup of water, chill, relax, stay hydrated, and let's get into the video. The first on the list is Souvenir Floral Bouquet, and this is by Afnan, an amazing Middle Eastern brand that has made so many um, phenomenal and awesome fragrances you may have heard about, like Ornament, um, Parfum, and all of that. But this one right here is the perfect alternative for to Delena Exclusive. Before we get into the juice, y'all, just look at this work of art. I mean, I love it. I think it's shaped like an egg. It feels like an egg. But most importantly, look at this. This is like um, gold roses um, stuck to the top of the bottle. I think that's an ode to the name being Floral Bouquet. Just well done. It just beats my imagination how this... Um, perfume houses spend so much to create beautiful packaging and it's so affordable it just makes no sense that being said this juice is a beast it's a beast you have to love your beast mode perfumes to be able to enjoy this now it opens up sharp and sour i'm going to be honest with you and that's because of the lemon in here it's almost like a grass like um, smell that comes off of it when you spray it it's very um, thick and harsh and green I'm gonna be honest with you about that but it quickly you know disappears and just gives room for that gorgeous rose musky amber mixture that concoction that shares nuances with the Lena exclusive I'm telling you this is so beautiful this is gorgeous you know there's also like you know the vanilla in there and i almost feel like i can smell some sugar in but it's not listed in the notes this is stunning in the dry down i'm telling you i wore this a lot during summer and i would think that this was my summer scent for 2022 because it stayed i was looking for a fragrance that had that great performance especially in high humidity and this did not fail me my gosh this is really strong and not strong in terms of the um the, the notes or how it comes up strong in terms of the performance meaning it lasts all you need is max four sprays if you're pushing it five i'm over an over sprayer um i'm an over sprayer and i remember going overboard one time and it was just too much but when you stick within the two to five sprays you're gonna be a queen you're gonna be delightful like Everyone want to be around you. I remember wearing this and walking into my apartment complex and my resident manager was like, residence manager was like, you smell divine. Like, thank you. Because this was all I was wearing. I didn't have to layer this with anything. I didn't have to mix it with anything. It shines on its own. It's, it's just great. See, I just out of this world. You're going to be smell from like miles away. That's me pushing it. But you're going to fill up the room. People are going to smell you, wonder what you're wearing. They're going to think it is the Lena exclusive, but then you're going to tell them what it really is if you want to. But yeah, Severely Floral Bouquet performs. It outshines the rest. Even when I do a Beast Mode um, list, this is definitely going to be there. For the price, the quality is just beyond wonderful. It's great. It stays on your clothes. I'm telling you this stays it lasts forever it smells divine again if you stick within the range of how you how much you um, spray 
it's an ultra feminine fragrance forget the opening the opening might not be great i mean if you like those crisp lemon um scents you may enjoy the opening i really don't but like i said it quickly disappears and gives room for the muskiness the grossness this is like beautiful fresh florals that are ground and you know soaked in some sugar and vanilla to create this i love this i love 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 this so much i don't know you can't see the bottle but i'm already halfway that is for a perfume that is beast mode and performed very well i wore this literally almost every day during summertime so if you're trying to get that um what the Rena exclusive smells like and it's not within your budget get your hands on to Rene Flora bouquet and hey just for the creation and just to experience a beast mode performance you can also get this i think it's worth it so next up we have the Lizia the marshmallow and this is by Kaisi Perfumes. Kaisi Perfumes is an indie brand. I found out about this um, on YouTube as well. I am in love with all, at least most of the fragrances that I have tried from their collection. But this right here, this is the definition of vanilla, sugared vanilla with marshmallow. Yes, it has marshmallow in the name. But what this is a perfect alternative for is vanilla. Vanagloria by Muslari. I know I butchered the name, but yeah, that's what this is. This just has three notes of marshmallow, vanilla, and sugar, if I remember correctly. And also Vanagloria by Muslari has three. I think it's um, caramel, vanilla, and maybe jasmine. I could be wrong. But this right here is a work of art. If you want to smell edible, you should have this. If you want to be that girl, you should have this. If you want to have the perfect vanilla that you can use to layer with everything this is the fragrance you should have it is really intoxicating um and it performs so well because it's oil based so when you spray you're going to get the oil sheen um on your skin and even on your clothes y'all it's not a beast mode in terms of projection but the sillage is out of this world and you're going to get constant waves of it as the day progresses i remember one a few times i wore this i put this on my shoulders and i kept on getting hints of it i'm like what is this what is this until i put my nose next to me i'm like crap this is the fragrance that i tried today it's stunning on its own i enjoy wearing it on its own when i just want to be feel very sweet and edible like i wear this um and you know if i want to layer things i also put this on it's great i've had this for a while and this is still the level i'm at that's because it's so strong um terry who's the founder of kai's perfumes uses the best ingredients that i can attest to so yeah you should get this it's I, it smells divine you literally don't need any other sugared marshmallow vanilla fragrance if you have this that's a lie because for those of us who love our rings we're still going to keep collecting but i'm telling you this is a must have for any Guman lover, any vanilla lover, any marshmallow lover. You need to have it. It's stunning, stunning, stunning out of this world. And yeah, the Lizzie the Marshmallow, I feel to my nose, is the perfect alternative to um, Vanaglara by Mazzolari. Next, we have Kaid Alpha San Unlimited by Latafa. Yo, again, packaging. Packaging takes it for me. It does it for me because why? Look at this. First of all, I love the box shape. I think it's great. I think it's the minimalistic vibe. But then you have this gold um, placement all over it. It's almost like it's stuck to it. And it, even though it's plastic, it doesn't look like it to the regular eyes. Um, and then you have the horse around this also in gold. But the, the part that gives me the kicker is the fact that the cap is magnetic. Check that out. And for the price, how do they do these things? I don't know. I just love that it fits in the hand. It's white. Hey, we're matching. But yeah, Kaid Alpha San is a milky gourmand with some hints of spices in it. And what this is a perfect alternative for is This Is Her by Zobi Gumbolta. I'm telling you, this smells like... Like frothed thick frothed milk cream that's what it is it's like you're surrounded or you're taking a bath with thick frothed milk that's what this is um it's just so gorgeous 
I, I don't know how else to describe this, but it's stunning. And it's gorgeous. I mean, yeah. So, yes, it has the hints of vanilla. No, not the hints. It has the hints of um, ginger in there. I, I can smell it. And then, so I'm just going to spray. I love the atomizer as well. So, I would also say that at the opening, there's almost like a slight synthetic, you know, feel to it. But I love that it quickly disappears um, and gives room to the, like I said, the thick creaminess, the milkiness. This is a perfect milky gourmand with hints of spice, hints of ginger in there. I almost want to say that there's a slight incense in just a very little bit of that. But that washes through and just gives you the most beautiful, thick, creamy um vanilla fragrance if you like this is her if you know this is her you know that it has intense sillage it's it doesn't like it's not a huge projector but it creates a trail around you that people will definitely know that you're there that is what this one does and more this one stays on your clothes for a good 10 to 12 hours like it lasts you don't need a lot in summertime you don't need a lot but I would say now that the weather is getting colder, these are the kind of scents that people want to smell, you know, the sweetness, the creaminess, you know, it's almost like um, you're having like some latte type thing or you're having some ice cream. That's what this is like. I would say you can go overboard, go overboard if you want to, but you want to be careful around noses um, or people who, some people do not stand or cannot stand lactonic um, scents and you don't want to obviously irritate them or make them feel nauseous. So that's the only downside. But with this, you're going to get a vibe. You're going to, if you enjoy your milky notes, if you enjoy your lactonic notes, that this is how it gives to you. You'll definitely love this one. This one takes you out. This one just creates that, like I said, the creaminess around you. Um, Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I love the packaging. I love the juice. It stays. It performs. And I'm surprised that a lot of people don't talk about this because they talk about the, alter the I don't want to say the alternative, it, there's a different bottle that Latafa has that is very popular. I think it's just called Kaid Alpha Sun, and that's like a pineapple based summer fragrance um, that people often compare to Lamar, like Kajal. So, but this one is on its own. I would say it's a perfect alternative for this is her. If you love your milky gourmand, if you love your thick, creamy, whipped cream like um, fragrances, this will do it for you. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's a keeper for me. We're down to our final two. And so the next is, um, <laughs> this next two are from the same um, fragrance house. And so let me see, left or right, I'll start with my left. Now, when we're talking about one-to-one -one fragrance, this is the first one-to-one -one exact, I would say 99.9% .9 similarity with what I'm talking about. And it's none other than Eau de Vanille by Genre Performs being an exact one-to-one -one of Royal Crown Sultan, or rather Sultan by Royal Crown. I own a full bottle of Sultan by Royal Crown, so I was excited about getting this. I heard about this um, recently, and I picked it up, and the minute I, I smelt it, like my eyes rolled to my back, I'm like, holy cow, how was this created to be the exact same thing? You cannot tell the difference between this and royal sultan royal crown you cannot like now sultan the beautiful thing about sultan is that it's certain noses that can enjoy it because of the thickness of the dates you know the incense notes there and then the vanilla it's hard to come across those three as a combination in the fragrance but sultan just does it now sultan smells like a rich oil magnets it smells like a billionaire not a millionaire like you have to have that air around you that presence for you to really enjoy sultan because it's intoxicating like the bottle alone is regal but the juice in there is just special you know how on fragrantica people are like this smells like this smells like that's a lie none of those this smells like comes close to what eau de vanille does with sultan sultan is in a world of, world of its own it's one of my top three fragrances ever like my top three fragrances ever my top five vanillas ever that is what sultan does for me so seeing that this one is literally the same thing i i was blown away 
since I got this, I have just been wearing it every single time. Um, it literally came not too long ago, and this is how much I've taken. Um, it might not seem a lot, but it really is a lot. Uh, it smells great. It's divine. It performs so well. You're going to get compliments in this because that's also what Sultan does. People compliment her. Sultan is a very interesting fragrance. Like, you're like, what are you wearing? Because it, it just intoxicates people. So what are you wearing? People may not want to spray, but they enjoy smelling it on other people. That's what I say. For me, I love smelling it and I love smelling it on people. I love wearing it and I love smelling it on people. Um, but that's just for my nose. Now, this does that justice. This is rich. This is um, just so transparent. Like, it, it just lights up the room. It makes me feel happy. Oh my goodness, it's spicy. I would say if or at all there's any difference between both of them is that this has just a tad bit more spiciness compared to what Royal Sultan by Royal Crown has. I'm telling you, that's the only thing. And just a tad bit. But yeah, this is gorgeous. The atomizer is great. Look at that. Ugh. The dates, the, the vanilla, the sugar, the sweetness just fills you up. It's a delight to have. It makes me happy. If you want to get just a taste of what Salt and Barrio Crown smells like, I'm telling you to get this. Unfortunately, they only have 30 ml bottles because I'm like, I need to get a bigger bottle. I just need to know that I never run out of Salt and because Salt and, as we all know, is super pricey. Um, and so having this just in my pocket around with me just makes me feel happy. No, yeah, I'm never going to get away from Salt and. And I'm definitely getting back up bottles of this because this always gets sold out um from general perfumes i don't know if i mentioned the name yeah so yes get your hands on this you must love dates you must love spices you must love incenses to be able to enjoy this one because that's what salt and royal crown does for you i love 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 it and this is very well done okay and then finally also by genre performs is essence and y'all look at this bottle again Fragrance House has been intentional about their bottle. Their packaging is what is a seller for me. I love it. That is chrome um, look. And then this, the, the brand name is like paste, oh, almost melted on it. It's, it's plastic, but you will not know by just touching it. I just, I love it. If you put this in a store, like a high-end luxury store, you will never know that the price this is like you will never know that the price being offered is really what it truly is. Like I just I'm blown away. Now, Essence Ooh, the Perfumes to my nose is a perfect near alternative, a near dupe for Blanche Beat by Le the Kids Imaginaire. Le the Kids Imaginaire is Blanche Beat. You've seen it, you know it. I own a full bottle of it. And that fragrance is like an angel's magic potion. Like angels came together, concocted a potion and said, take care of humans. This is what we smell like. And now you're going to smell like it. That's what Blanche Beast smells like. And so imagine me smelling the same thing in this bottle. I was like, yes, heavens, you're doing this right for me. So <clears throat> Blanche Beast, as we know, is like a milky, like a milky, creamy, um a tonic again fragrance and it's just so sweet and just just yummy and you have to really love um milk and floral so there's the jasmine in there it almost smells like there's some coconut in there but i don't think it's listed on the notes there's the sweetness that also comes with it and there's some saffron in there so you just imagine milk saffron coconut jasmine all meshed together that's what blank beat gives to you but then it's so airy it's like imagine what a um what what is the word an ethereal princess smells like that's what blank beat smells like just imagine like you're walking in clouds you're like you're floating through clouds of just cream milk sweetness that's what blank beat does and so this also does the exact same thing i was shocked i came across this interestingly enough when i ordered um eau de vanille and i got a sample and you know people were like it smells so good the 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 creator actually said this gives off some baccarat root 540 vibe so i was like you know let me try this out 
um, with the sam when the sample came through, and oh my goodness, I can get the BR540 nuances, which some people also said they can slightly get from Blandry, but that aside, the notes here do not in any way come close to the notes of Blandry, so I just don't know. Is, my, is something wrong with my nose? Like this, you have the, I believe, raspberries, you have the caramel in there, um, some saffron, that's it. But it is stunning, you guys. This is beautiful. Yes, at the opening, there's that freshness of the fruits. You cannot escape that. But once that goes away, in the dry down, I saw on everything, you're getting bland bit. It's like, it, with the dry down, I cannot tell the difference. To me, it's literally the same thing. Opening, I can smell the freshness of like the, the berries. Yeah, and then the caramel sits there. But that's it. That's it for me. Nothing else. Nothing else separates it from Blanche Bridge. I love it. And the good thing about this and all fragrances from German perfumes, I must attest to you, is that it lasts. It stays on your clothes. It projects beautifully. It's like a good arm's length. The sillage. Oh, my goodness. I've worn this and I've gotten compliments. I was in the elevator the other day and the girl was like, you always smell good. You really smell so good. I'm like, thank you, because this was what I was wearing. And I've also worn blank bit and I've gotten my compliments as well. So I don't know how else to tell you guys that this is a perfect alternative for blank bit. So if you're trying to get blank bit, and you know blank bit always gets sold out. And I was lucky to get mine. Was mine from Lucky Sense? I don't remember where I picked up mine from. No, mine was from Max Ro. My, yeah, mine was from Max Aroma. It was a skip it. <laughs> I'm clumsy, y'all. And again, I filmed this so many times. I'm tired. It's late. But no, mine, I believe, was from Max Aroma. But nonetheless, like, I can literally wear this or that, and I cannot tell the difference in the dry down. That's how good this is. And it's a 50 ml bottle. I mean, stunner. Just take away the fact that you want to get blank bit. Just get this and you would thank me. But if you have blank bit and you get this, you would also thank me. What I can tell you to do is get samples. Get samples of blank, a sample of blank bit and a sample of this. Put them together. Test out the dry downs and come back and thank me and tell me in cure. You are absolutely right because I know I'm right. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Ugh. What is it? I can smell the coconut, but it's not listed there. I can smell the saffron, it's not listed there. I can smell milky notes, it's not listed there, but this is like magic to me. This is a work of perfection. Okay, this is what I'm wearing tomorrow to church. You can't tell me nothing. And you know, you can get the oil, like this is the oil, it stays really good. And the price, it blows my mind. This is the perfect alternative for blank bit if you're trying to get your hands on it and it's sold out and again like i said even if just not for getting an alternative just for the fact that this juice is made with some of the best ingredients i think it's worth having in your collection okay so essence by journal performs to me is the perfect alternative or dupe for blank bit but less because imagine it Okay, before we go, I have one last one. And now this one is without a doubt a dupe. It was, the company said it's a dupe. And so, yes, I tried to get this. And this is Vanilla Baby by Dwarf Fragrances. It's an extra, extra the perfume. And this is a dupe for YSL's Baby Cat. As we all know, nobody can get their hands on Baby Cat, especially here in the US. And so I looked high and low. And then I was seeing comments by people, get Vanilla Baby by you. Um, draw fragrances inside to pick up it because um, baby cat is within my um, scope of what I love in fragrances that's the sweet and spiciness even though yes it smells like Rosendo number no. 5 by a lot of people and I do have a full bottle of that I wanted to get my hands on it maybe it was my FOMO a fear of missing out so I got my hands on this this is has been sold out multiple times again as well by Dwarf fragrances I don't know if it's back in stock but I'm so thankful that I did because 
This is perfect. This is a compliment get getter. Compliment getter. Now I haven't smelled baby cat before, but if this is what baby cat smells like, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Yes, I can get the nuances of the scent number five here, but this has is more almost like it's darker with the base, the the leather amped up a little bit. This leans, I would say, leans a little bit more masculine, while the scent number five is just sweeter and, and like more intriguing and more feminine um, leaning. But this one right here. It's vanilla, it's leather, it's spices, it's beautiful. This is what a CEO should be wearing, I will tell you this. And I've been using this sparingly because I'm just so scared. Like, look at this. I got this and I think I used a lot because I've not had this one for like two, three weeks, I think. I think I've used a lot. That's me. I'm just like, yeah, what if I run out of this and I can't get my hands on this and then I can't get my hands on wise or baby cat, what would I do? But this is gorgeous. It stays. And that's the thing about raw fragrances. They stay on you. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying this. Again, perfect for the weather. It's great packaging. Unfortunately, they only have this small sizes. I think it was only 30 mil that I found. I could be wrong, but this was all I could get my hands on. And if you can get your hands on it and you've been trying to get wise or baby cat, I think it's perfect based on what I've read and heard. I haven't smelled baby cat. I only know two things. One, it smells close to Rosendo number five, which I already have. And it smells just like this, which I now have. And bringing this and number five together, like I said, similar nuances. The only difference is that this is a bit darker, a little bit masculine leaning. The leather is amped up as opposed to Rosendo number five, which I love. Oh, I love it. So there you have it, folks. Those are my five alternatives and an extra one giving you six dupes alternatives that you should have in your collection for fragrances you've heard about fragrances you should try and there's nothing wrong in expanding your collection hey there are some days we want to try something else other than what we have and you know i enjoy um alternatives dupes or whatever you would call them i feel that perfume houses cannot escape um creating fragrances that are similar to one another it's just impossible there's only so much that they can do and yeah for me the more the merrier well this has been a long video didn't expect it to be this way but if you enjoyed um this sort of content please feel free to like this video please subscribe to my channel i've been too lazy but now i'm trying to pick up and if you have any ideas you would love please feel free to reach out to me via my instagram page i'm very active on there and i love fragrances and i know you do but one more thing stay beautiful you are beautiful and keep lighting up the world see you in my next video